I'm Howard Shore. Welcome to my show at the Montserrat Contemporary Art Gallery in Chelsea, New York. It's a pleasure to be here and to show you some of my most recent work. Um, a little bit about my history and my background. I'm a civil engineer by education. I graduated Lafayette College in Eastern Pennsylvania in 1961, and I began collecting art in conjunction with building a new contemporary home in Coltsneck, New Jersey. The architect was a gentleman by the name of Barry Burkus, who was a branded collector from Santa Barbara, California. And in designing the house, it just begged for artwork to bring life and color into the plain white stucco background of the home. Um, I began collecting art in, I would say, the early 80s. And I would go from galleries to museums around the world. And I would turn to my wife and say, you know, I could do this. And that's how I began my career as an artist. That, that, that was in the, that was in, uh, uh, I guess, the early 80s. And I began, I, I became infatuated with the forms and the shapes of uh, Frank Stella and uh, and the, the simplicity of Robert Ryman's work with the texture and the stucco-like feeling. And I was busy in my business career. And maybe in, the, in 10 years, I did three or four paintings is all I ever did. And then when I retired in, 19, in 2004, I decided that I was going to concentrate on building up a collection of my art. Now all I have to do is become world renowned and famous. This is one of my most recent pieces, uh, and you could say, you could see, it says, it is a shore. So I figured that it would be a way of identifying my work. In incidentally, all of my work has a triangle in it somewhere. That was what I discovered when I was collecting art that the most successful and prominent work you could quickly look at and tell who the artist was. And I decided that all my work would have a triangle in it somewhere so it would become recognizable. I did this piece and I have done several in this series that say it's a sure just in case people don't know who I am. I generally don't make sketches before I create the art. 
I generally start by creating the background colors. And I'll do it just with the plain colors. And then I'll decide this is what I'll do. And I did this as a, as a triptych. Uh, and you could purchase one or three or two, whatever your pleasure. Again, these are, these are more recent work that I have just done in the last year or two. Um, and I try, to make, I try to make my art enjoyable and happy and uplifting. And it's interesting to watch people when they look at my art and read their expressions and face, facial uh, expressions to indicate that it connects with them and it makes them feel uplifted and happy. So I call, call my art happy art. And I think particularly after our past uh, year and a half with COVID, people want to feel happy and uplifted. And that's what I try to create with my work. Again, I began this, this work, piece of work with the background and then I let it sit for a couple of days and I thought about it and I just tried to make it very simple and uncomplicated. And I say, you know, Frank, I believe it was Frank Stella who said, it is what it is. Uh, uh, he, he said, he said, it is what you see. And I say, it is what it is. Uh, but again, it begins, it all begins with the background and the textures and the colors. And again, I try to make my art uplifting and happy. This piece called Colorful Thoughts is one of a series that I've done with, I guess I did this in 2019. Um, and it's, it's, again, every one of these colors I, I tried to do randomly and there's no pattern or formula to how they were arrived at. But I think the name of the painting, Colorful Thoughts, expresses what I was trying to convey to the, to the public with my work. This painting is a 2020 painting that I did and I call it Starburst because that was the feeling that I got when I completed it. And again, I started with the background colors and I just, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I just wait for the feeling to come to me and I sort of connect the dots.
paintings over here, and there are six, seven of them, are what I call the Little Gem series. Uh, it was a, my attempt to create something that became very affordable for people to begin their art collection. Try to try my, my way of trying to encourage people to begin to collect original art as opposed to copies and giclés. And they're priced, I think, reasonably at the $200, $250 price point. And as I say, I call them little gems. <laughs>